Welcome to this introduction to Adobe Premiere Elements 11. This is a video editing software. And what it will do is just take a quick look at where everything is and then talk about getting your video files from your camera or from your computer, if that's where they are, onto this, into the software. And then, of course, we'll go through the steps of doing some editing. It's a fairly simple, easy to use piece of software, but it does a really good job of creating basic videos. So we have our typical menu up here, file, edit, and then of course there's specific ones to the software. So for example, once you get your videos in, you can drag them into your timeline and then there's some things you can do to the clips. We'll take a look at a few of those. Um, if you wanna work and edit in your timeline, you can do that. So things like zoom in, zoom out, rendering what's in the timeline, which is just processing the film. Uh, adding in text, uh, we have what's called an action bar, which will call up different windows for creating special effects and titles. There's a list of different tools here you can use. And then, of course, you've got your window, which is a common menu in many uh, pieces of software. And you can open up different windows and do different things. So look at your history, look at all your events, uh, info adding medias there as well. And then of course you have your help, which is always in most pieces of software. Up at the top here, we have add media. So you can go and add media from your elements organizer, which uh, is a component in Adobe Premiere Elements that basically has all your videos listed there that you've downloaded into Adobe Premiere Elements. Variety of different cameras that you can get um, video from and then of course files and folders and that is just getting video or other things like songs uh, mp3 files and then uh, still photos of, uh, of sorted kinds as well project assets is where all the specific video and you can hide that or show it uh, still images and of course songs or audio tracks um, you can see all those things that are specific to this project here that you've downloaded into the software. There's two modes, quick mode, and which is basically drag and drop your video and you'll see your videos one after the other. Then uh, you have expert mode, which is the mode that we'll work in for these tutorials. And the expert mode, it shows you your video file and then you've got three different audio video tracks and then two other um, audio tracks, one for narration and one for dragging in MP3s essentially for your soundtrack. Up here, this is where you publish and share. So you can do things like burn a disc, upload your videos online to Facebook or YouTube. You can save them to your computer or you can create video files specifically for mobile phones and so on. Hey, okay. you have two windows here, one for adjusting your clips and one for applying different special effects like a fade out to your clip. And then you have your timeline down here. And down below your, and this is where you drag and drop all your video files. Down here we've got a whole bunch of different, um, we have a whole bunch of different menus here for adding in things like transitions and special effects, titles and text and then uh, adding in music that comes with the software as well as graphics. So the very first thing we're going to do is add in our media. So you can click here when the window is open or of course you can go up here to add media. So when I click on this menu here, I see flip camera right here and that's the kind of camera that I have. So I'm gonna click on that button and what it'll do is it'll show me all the video clips that are on my camera. It takes a bit to load up because of course video files are fairly big, but they are there. And the ones that I'm gonna use, let's see, it'll take a little bit. Uh, we'll just let that load up and I'll show you uh, a few other things. Oh, there they are. This button here, is where I can go and choose where I want to save the different video files. Uh, let's cancel that. I don't want to do that, but you just click on that and choose the folder. 
Uh, these three buttons here, delete originals. No, I don't want to do that, but you can if you want to. I don't want to add them to, to my timeline, and I don't want to create an Insta movie. So, what I'm going to do is add the four videos, these four right here. So right now it automatically checks every video. So what I'm going to do is uncheck them all and then just choose the ones that I want. So these four videos here, I'm not going to add them to the timeline. I'm not going to create an automatic Insta movie, and that will basically the computer will randomly throw in different special effects. Now if I want to click on a video and preview it here, I can. I just hit the play button. I'm not going to do that. They're fairly short. I know what's on them. So what I'm going to do is click on Get Media. Window will pop up. It will download the actual raw footage to my computer. And then it will show the video in Project Assets. So there's my four videos. And now since I didn't automatically add them to the timeline, I can just drag the ones I want down to the timeline. So if I didn't film in order, I can simply just click drag and add them to the timeline. So I'm going to drag all four down and then what I can do is wherever this playhead is, this red line and the blue tab there, it's called the playhead and that red line is where the actual video is being played. So there's all the different clips and it's a short quick video of a few plants. Not exciting but you get the idea. Then I can use these controls here as well to play it. So I can play it at regular speed. I can go one frame at a time, forward or back, and I can fast forward it. So it plays through fairly fast. I can use this button to jump to the beginning of the next clip or the end or I guess end and beginning, depending on how your what your perspective is, but just the basically the in-between point of my clips. So that basically controls my playhead um, and allows me to view what I have in this window here. I can zoom in and zoom out so I can see more of the length of my video, which is good for when I'm editing, and I can fit to visible frame. Now the one last thing that I forgot to mention, which I'll do now, you have what's called a workspace. And these two white um, tabs here I can drag. But basically I want to have them at the beginning of my video and at the end of my video. And I don't want to go past because that will end up being video that's saved to my final product and it will be just empty blackness. So right now I've got a basic video. I could save that and render it if I wanted to, but I'm going to add in some special effects and other features plus do some editing in the next tutorial.